What's going on guys? This is 3D RC Fiend here. It's been a while. It has been a long time. It's been like almost a year maybe since we made the Ultimate Tow Rig video. Well, here it is today. Don't mind the sound in the background. That's my 3D printer going. But we got some epic content today. It's all about the drive shafts and the wheels. It's going to be crazy. I don't know if it's ever been done before. I might be the first to ever do it. Who knows? We're gonna see. So, what I want to show you mainly is the drive shafts that are recently printed. I don't know if they're gonna hold up. I don't know if they're gonna work, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out today. And the wheels. We're gonna see if them wheels will hold on, and how crazy they are. I don't think anyone has ever done this to the wheels. I might be the first, so you might just have to sit here and see. I'll just hint. Listen to Diesel done it, but I'm going a step further. Let's get into the video. All right. What I'm about to show you is unheard of, is unseen, it's raw footage, never shown on YouTube. I am in some videos um, on YouTube already with a buddy of mine, Quake Crabtree. He's got a YouTube channel. I'll try to link him down in the description. Uh, got to figure out how to do that. I still don't know how to do some of that stuff, but we're going to see how this handles and how this thing can actually do work with what I printed in the last two weeks. You're gonna see this thing and it's gonna be epic. I'm telling you, you've never seen it. I don't think anybody's ever done it. I mean, somebody's done it, but I don't think they've done it like I've done it. And the thing is, it's gonna get even better. It's, it's gonna get even better. Now watch, I'm gonna flip this camera around and you're gonna be amazed, I promise. Oh my God, here is. Don't mind this right here. This outer bead isn't red. I haven't gotten around to change it because what I'm gonna do in this video, it's epic, just wait. But that's for later. Look at this machine. Sorry about the lighting, it's not that great, but Man, it is a monster. Body needs to be cleaned. It's been about three months since I've been able to do anything with RC because my work schedule is so crazy. I don't know if I want to show you. I'll oh, screw it. Look at this machine. Wow. All right. Well, I'm going to flip this thing over and I'm going to show you why this thing is a machine. Everything I've done to this is 3D printed. I do all the work and designing myself it doesn't really take long other than the printing part that, that process takes forever but, man let me, let me flip it around because I think all two or both of the wheels on the other side are red let's see yes there we go man just taking the fenders off the back gave me at least another inch in the back and the amount of flex you get in the back now that's just, that's wild. It's way better than with the fenders. Got to do the front. But what I'm working on now is so I can do the front. But let me show you the bottom of this machine. So I'm doing this with one hand. That was up close. But look at this. I got the dual bars. Printed those. They look amazing. They got the TRX4 printed on them. Front, they're beat up. I, I just replaced these. Uh, these are beat up from a mountain trip. And yeah, there's a ton of rock up there. But that right there is the special event for the day. This is the reason why I want to make a video to see if these last. Because these are the first prototypes. Never ran them. Never tested and I don't know if they're going to work because of this reason right here. Let me show you. All right. This right here is why I don't know if they're going to work. Don't mind the band-aid. It looks terrible. Been on here for a week. But 
focus yeah slides in and out just like the regular TRX4 drive shafts I don't know if it's gonna break and we're gonna test that I made it the exact spe uh, specs as the regular ring I made it the exact specs as the original so I know that it fits I've already put it together you just seen it on the truck but we're gonna test this today and I know what you're gonna say that's plastic that's not gonna hold up under stress especially with those wheels well that's why I printed this guy it's got the original yokes on it they slide right into there and they screw in from the bottom like the originals do it's got the same exact shape and everything configuration is the exact same specs as on the TRX4 the drive shaft is the exact same width diameter everything it's it's all the same so they break I already was one step ahead I know they're gonna break I just wanted to see it, how much stress it would take because it's 3d printing in this type of freaking business you know what we have to do we have to test everything so I'm expecting these drive shafts to break the first two minutes if they go any longer I will be impressed as hell you just seen the double dually truck I printed those wheels I printed and made the designs they are exactly like a real dually wheel they come together go together everything now let me go into more detail of what these things are and why they're so special to me I've printed 16 just the, just the inside wheel and I printed about seven of the outside wheel before they got perfect so let me flip this around and show you all right I don't know if you'll be able to see see the insert yes that insert right there yeah that makes the wheel look good like an actual rim you want to know what it looks like on the inside like that looks like a rough insert like inside and that's because it is because there's infill to keep it you know where this don't fall inside and we wanted to infill on the inside of the wheel because you're not going to see that you don't want to see that and you're not going to see that with that cap over it right there so what i've done is i made it to where I knew I could put a rim inside of there and you see the holes it screws into then you don't see none of the infill then this is the inside outside but you're gonna have a bead over it and with the tires on it that's a 32 millimeter wide wheel right there that's a very 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 thick wheel uh, it's got to be to run these tires evenly you know I got a nice little gap in between there but it gets crazier this wheel right here yeah well we don't want double doilies we want four wheels on each hub I know I know sounds crazy but we're gonna do it I design these wheels and when I design stuff I always take it a step further so I already came up with something to do this to make it possible let me show you how am I going to make this hold even more wheels this guy right here this point is just an outer spike just to fill that hole because it looks good if you put it in the center because I made this wheel where you could take them off even if it's three four five six you ain't got to take them all apart just to take the wheel off the hub it's gold I'm telling you it took years two years to figure this out Bike side of it, you see, it's got a whole nice little flush piece here. Well, all you do is you take this, you take that, take that uh, outside bead off. You put that boy there. It's flush, be even flusher when it's on the wheel. Sorry for the camera movement. I'm still getting used to this thing huge phone way bigger than my other one and when you do that this has four holes in the front of it so does this you take this line those holes up boom 
and then you can also take another one put the tire on it boom and just keep going got another wheel already printed boom I don't have another one to prove that it can go more but you see my point it is insane the design is crazy it's gonna work we're gonna put it together we're gonna be the first to ever do this and we're gonna test it right here today tired of waiting no more waiting it's time it's finally here talk about an ultimate tow rig this will be it ultimate traction ultimate weight ultimate suspension and hopefully drive shaft i'm tired of the stock everything i want everything to be custom and match look at all that red all that red yeah this is gonna be epic together and this looks crazy just seeing three of these together it's like dude why what's the point but we're gonna be some of the first to do it maybe the first to do it these wheels are printed designed like I said completely by me and I might end up selling them I don't know yet I think they're cool uh, I got interchangeable rim inserts so you can make the rims look different different colored beads I can even print the wheel in a different color. Let's throw it on the truck, see how it looks. I wish I bought two more so I could go ahead and do the front and have three on the front as well, or technically six. But I don't. Didn't really want to spend the money right now. These tires from Mickey Thompson's, they're $30 for two. I didn't want to spend 60 But really, I honestly need to go ahead and drop the 200 and go ahead and do four on each hub. That's crazy. Mind blown. But... Like I said, I ain't want to spend the money right now. I just had to buy tires for a truck. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and throw these on the truck and see how it looks. I think it's going to look amazing. You got a pretty long, what is this, a 7 millimeter socket right here. And it's it's long. I tell you, it, it it's uh, not long enough almost. Like, we're cutting it very close here. So, we're going to take that out. Take this out, put this in, and then we put it on the wheel. Get the hair off of there. Why there's hair on there? Man, I'm worried I'm gonna snap this. It's this is a lot of weight right here. This is a lot of weight. Wow, just holding it like that feels insane. Oh man, look at this monster. It's so wide I can't even get it in the frame, like, wow, wow, them things are going to snap, I can't, I, I, 
I can't even believe how wide this thing is. Like, dude. You kidding me? I thought the trailer that I pulled in the last video was too wide. <laughs> Turns out that, that trailer might be perfect for this truck. Because, uh, yeah. If I end up getting a Santa 450, I'm going to need that trailer, that long trailer, to pull this wide. SOB. This thing is huge, man. It's time for the best freaking part. I'm so excited. I don't know about y'all. I don't think this has ever been done, and this is going to be incredible. 3D printed drive shafts, 3D printed wheels. Not just one on each hub, not just two, but three on each on the back and two on the front. Oh man, this is going to be so freaking cool. This is going to be epic as heck. I'm glad y'all are here to see it. You've seen it first here on 3D RC Fiend. If anybody else has ever done it, tag them in the comments. Because I want to see. This is, this is wild. And I give respect to anyone that's ever done it. Because it is a long time coming. Screw any more talking. Let's go. Wow. Insane, right? Look at that. Yeah, that glare on the windshield. Yeah, this thing looks amazing. All right, enough talking about it. Let's drive it. It's what everybody wants to see. It's what I want to see. I've been wanting to see this for months. So, here it goes. It didn't last long at all. Them drive shafts snapped immediately. Well, that was a quick video. Very quick run here. Didn't even last five foot. And as soon as I gave it a little bit of a, a challenge to get up this little rock, it's not even steep. The drive shaft snapped, both of them. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have to put the ones on with the yokes, the original metal yokes, so they can't break because we can't have this happen again. So let's go do that, and we'll be right back out here to try it again. As I expected, I was fully expecting a snap off. That's why I went ahead and printed the ones with the metal original yokes in it, because I figured that would happen in no time. So we're gonna take this one apart, take these off, Move the front one and install the metal ones. See how they do. Back out here, take two. Let's see how this one goes.
that pretty much concludes today's video. It didn't go as good as I planned. The drop shaft definitely snapped. I mean, you saw them literally five feet. But this new one, this is 3D printed as well, but I put the original metal yokes in it. It definitely has no issue. I thought maybe it would strip the center shaft, but it actually held up great. I'm working on some more 3D prints right now. These wheels run great. Definitely keep me from flipping a lot more. You saw on that hill. If I would have just had the standard four wheels on this truck, it would have tumbled, no problem. That's how they all do. Definitely got more ground pressure. Definitely gonna keep going with the amount of wheels on this thing. Who knows, I might end up putting 16 wheels on each hub. It's possible with these wheels. I mean, you see, I've got three on it now, but I appreciate you watching. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you come back to see us again. We will have more updates here in the future, maybe within the next week, hopefully. So, hope you have a great day. Thanks.